Solving word problems. Addition and subtraction of decimals with Miss Stefania Brown. We will use cubes to help us remember our word problem steps. Circle key numbers and units. Underline the question. Box map clue words. Evaluate and eliminate. Solve and show your work. Read the problem with me. Jada buys an assorted box of chocolate that contains 18 and 23 hundredths ounces of dark chocolate and 11 and 15 hundredths ounces of milk chocolate. How much do the chocolates weigh in total? Circle the numbers you know. Underline the question. How much do the chocolates weigh in total? Box the clue word. Total. Now evaluate. The clue word total is indicating that we should add. We will solve this problem by using an addition number sentence. Line up your numbers. Three hundredths plus five hundredths is eight hundredths. Two tenths plus one tenth is three tenths. Place your decimal point. Eight ones plus one one is nine ones. One ten plus one ten is two tenths. The total weight of chocolates is twenty nine and thirty eight hundredths. Let's do another adding decimals problem, this time with regrouping. Read the problem with me. Three finalists were left in the spelling competition. Their scores are 42 and 186 thousandths, 39 and 45 hundredths, and 39 and 4 tenths. What is the total score? Circle the numbers you know. Underline the question. Box the clue word. Now let's evaluate. The clue word here total is indicating that I should add. I will use an addition number sentence to solve this problem. Line up your numbers. Now let's find the sum. Bring down your six thousandths. Eight hundredths plus five hundredths equals thirteen. Regroup thirteen as three hundredths and one tenth. Place your three hundredths under your hundredths column. Carry your one tenth above your tenths column. One tenth plus one tenth plus four tenths plus four tenths equals ten tenths. Regroup ten as zero tenths and one one. Place your zero tenth under your tenths column. Carry your one one above your ones column. Place your decimal point. One one plus two ones plus nine ones plus nine ones equals twenty one ones. Regroup twenty one as one one and two tenths. Place your one one under your ones column. Carry your two tenths above your tenths column. Two tenths plus four tenths plus three tenths plus three tenths equals twelve tenths. Regroup twelve as two tenths and one hundred. Place your two tenths under your tenths column. Place your one hundred under your hundreds column. The total score is one hundred twenty one and thirty six thousandths. Read this problem with me. Kyle's pumpkin weighed three and sixteen hundredths pound, and Josh's pumpkin weighed one and eleven hundredths pound. How many more pounds did Kyle's pumpkin weigh than Josh? Circle the numbers you know. Underline the question. Box the clue word. Now evaluate. How many more is indicating that we will subtract? We will use a subtraction number sentence to solve. Line up your numbers. One hundredths from sixteen hundredths leaves five hundredths. 
One tenth from one tenth leaves zero tenth. Place your decimal point. One one from three ones leaves two ones. Kyle's pumpkin weighs two and five hundredths more than Josh. Let's do another subtracting decimals problem, this time with renaming. Read the problem with me. The chef took out 54 and 831,000 gram of butter, then found out he took out 6 and 314,000 gram of butter more than he needed. How much butter did he need? Circle the numbers. Underline the question. Box the clue words. Now evaluate. So we know that the chef took out more butter than he needed. The question is asking how much butter did he need? This scenario is indicating that we should subtract. We will use a subtraction number sentence to solve. Line up your digits. Now let's find the difference. Four thousandths from one thousand cannot work. Go over to your hundredths column. Rename three hundredths as two hundredths. Go back to your thousandths place. You now have eleven thousandths. Four thousandths from eleven thousandths leaves seven thousandths. One hundred from two hundredths leaves one hundred. Three tenths from eight tenths leaves five tenths. Place your decimal point. Six ones from four ones cannot work. Go over to your tenths column. Rename five tenths as four tenths. Go back to your ones column. You now have 14 ones. Six ones from 14 ones leaves eight ones. Bring down your four tens. How much butter did he need? He needed 48 and 517 thousand. 